Welcome back to Diddly Squad Gaming. Today we are in SnowRunner and don't adjust your set because that is the Western Star 6900 Twin Steer that we are looking at. Uh, I went ahead and put chain tires on it so that when we leave the garage and uh, we find that we are in Amindra. Oh my god, I spat, said it wrong again. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, but yeah, so anyways. Let's uh, let's do this for one episode. We're gonna try this truck. We're gonna we're gonna see. Um, I've heard some great things about it. It is pretty amazing and stellar and cool. Uh, but I've also heard that it's not great for this map. So uh, so why not try it, right? Like why not why why not make our lives harder? So uh, what we're going to do is we are going to head down. Um, I would actually like to put this truck on the bed of this and without having a crane oh, oh. or crashing into it um I could do that really quick can I can I let's do it let's uh let's let's uh head back to the garage let's pull out a truck with a crane on it and pick this uh yar up and stick it on the bed I believe this is possible I could be horribly wrong I don't have any trucks here do I uh, what truck could do it with a crane? I think this one has a crane, doesn't it? Uh, uh customize. Oops, not that one, this one. Uh, let's, let's try the extreme crane. Why not? Let's see if, uh, this will even pick up. I'm not even sure if you can pick up. I thought you could pick up scout vehicles with cranes. Unless that was a mod that I saw. I, I don't actually believe I actually tried it, so let's uh let's just throw her there. Activate the anchors. I, I probably should have tried this before <laughs> starting to record. I think that's what most YouTubers would have done. Uh but I'm not like most YouTubers. I uh tend to just go off the uh off the cuff so uh, that is a pickup point in the middle so we should be good problem is I think I'm too close to it let's go up no nope, stay in there we go look at that that's perfect all right and uh, yeah we're just going to back the twin steer underneath it and hopefully, oh, <clears throat> that's right, totally forgot. I forgot I was in a game that uh, <laughs> breaks the laws of everything. All right, let's just, yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah, we're, we're doing this correctly. I don't think OSHA has anything to say about the way I'm loading this. Uh, change trucks. Let's go ahead and go into crane mode. Pick this truck back up. And swing it around. A little bit high. A little bit high. Okay, so hopefully... Hopefully I'll be able to strap this bad boy down. Um, now, this is the annoying thing about using a controller. Uh, if I tell it to, we're gonna rotate back. Thank you. If I hit O to lower it, it exits. For some reason, O and lower are, or, or lower and exit are the same button on the controller. Um, I try to switch over to my keyboard. Ah, you know what? That was an accident, but that's a happy little accident, so it worked. Uh, let's go and. <clears throat> Store crane. We're just gonna shut this truck off and leave it here. Uh, yeah, that should, yeah, that will pack. Um, oh wow, I thought it would uh, align it a little bit better. Crap. Let's uh, let's see if we can fix this. I'm probably going to screw this up. So, 
Why not, uh, why not make this harder on myself, right? Come on. Nope. Go back. Go back. Yeah, I, I knew that was going to happen. All right, let's change trucks. We'll get the crane mode back out. <laughs> maybe, uh, yeah, maybe I should have done this off camera. But I, I feel like this is what you guys kind of watch my channel for, so I feel like I would be doing you a disfavor. Um, although the camera... They won't pick up. It's tipping. Oh, I didn't put the legs out, that's why it's... Uh, let me hide controls. Activate the anchors. That should stabilize us a little bit better. There we go. Alright, so let's bring this in a lot, uh, a lot nicer. nicer. And uh, while we're at it, let's hit it off the... Uh, yeah, let's bring that down. Rotate. Okay, no, we're coming. That, that, yeah, that falls to kind of road. drop it yet. There. I, I, I don't know what happened with the camera there, but uh, yeah, I think that's, I think that works. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn off the engine, restore the crane. I'm actually shocked you can restore the crane with the truck turned off, but anyways, let's change the trucks. Let's get to the western. You know what? It's a little bit better. It's not perfect. Ah, the ADD in me wants to get it perfect. But I think I'm 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 better off. Yeah. That's better. Oh, stop. Wow, I never realized how hard the uh how hard it was to do a little bit of uh, changing. Okay, you know what? Good enough. Before I screw this up anymore. Uh, change trucks. Do I need to turn it off? Probably should. Let me change back and see if it's still running. Nope, it's back, so it should, should be off. Alright. We're off to the races. Chances are... If if this is if this truck is as bad as um, I think it might be, I'm hoping it's really good. I am hoping it's great. I mean that's gonna be a fun part, the turning radius. Uh, but if it if it's amazing like I think it's going to be, we should be able to at least do this mission with it. Um, but yeah, I mean just at this moment. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We that tippy? Are we that tippy? Holy crap. What? It attached the wind. All I gotta say right now is holy crap. Um, we might not be able to do this. The way I was thinking and hoping. All right, <laughs> we uh, we might have to just drag. We are so top heavy. It is uh, kind of ridiculous. You know what? I think we're too top heavy. 
All right. Uh, well, let's uh, unpack the trailer. Let's jump into the truck. Let's just back it off the trailer. And we will pull it. And if we're still tippy, then I think we're we're gonna say that uh, this truck isn't great for uh, for this terrain, uh, which is kind of sad because what train would it be? It would be good for Michigan. Michigan probably would have excelled in, um, but unfortunately, without the all-wheel drive. Although I'm not gonna lie. I'm not an all-wheel drive right now, and I'm not, I don't have the diff lock, and we're still getting through some pretty tough stuff right now, so, um, let me actually map this out just real quick. Um, lost trailer, new pool, I already did. Lost trailer is all the way down here. That's what we're going to shoot for first, and then we're probably going to do one of these other missions that will require a larger truck. Hopefully, it's uh, it all works out. Um, I, I, I suppose. Yeah, I think I want to throw on the all-wheel drive one, but at the same time, I kind of want to see how good this truck is. The fact that I'm getting through this with no extra add-ons. I almost said bone stock, but that didn't really make sense at the time. Um, let's go ahead and throw it on. And we should just easily walk through this stuff. That would have that would have been horrible if I threw all wheel drive on and then we didn't move on top of it and it was like <laughs> Okay, so the back wheels really do all the work and it's only like a 90-10 split where the front wheels only do 10% of the power. Um I'm not sure if the trucks actually do. Like, do they have that option or that um or is it just a straight 50 50 power split between the front and rear anyways probably not overly important but we are killing it with this truck so so far so good and uh yeah i was told by one of the viewers dj that um this truck can hold lawn logs on its body. And that made me think, I'm like, can it pull a log log long log trailer as well? Because if it can, this truck may be overpowered. <laughs> uh, I haven't tried it yet, but that is something I want to look into. Uh, but I kind of want to get the uh, the hang of the truck just by uh, by itself. Now, the, the tippiness will be um, an issue when it comes to long logs because I just had a scout vehicle on there and I obviously well I did lose it I, I got lucky because I hit the um, I hit the boulder that was next to us so that uh, we didn't really have to we didn't flip all the way over and the engine was still running so yeah it, it, it's one of those things so we'll, we'll have to see if it becomes horribly unstable with long logs on it, or if it was just a, a thing. I don't, even know. I don't even really know how to call that a thing. Um, if it was just an incident or an accident of... Uh... Ooh, we're struggling a little bit here. That kind of makes sense, because we have chain tires and not mud tires, so... I would kind of expect it to slow down a bit. Uh, as you can hear, I'm still a little, even though it's been, I think it's been, it's been about two weeks since I got sick, but it's been about a week since it pretty much was done. I still have the sniffles or the slight runny nose and the, the persistent cough that never wants to go away. It's, um, yeah, it's annoying. That's all it is right now. So, but I am getting better, so that's a good thing. I'm hoping my, my nose stops running within the next couple of days because that's probably the most annoying part. Alright, so we are struggling a little bit through here in the mud. Let's try to go back to all-wheel drive and see if speed... Yeah, it seems like speed is more on our side. I 
All right, so you guys didn't actually get to see any part of this map because that was the lost episode. <laughs> um, still don't understand what happened. I must have I must have accidentally deleted the, uh, the episode before I recorded it. Let's go around this way. I usually go to the left. For some reason today I'm feeling I'm feeling right. Um so that is I just noticed one other minor flaw to this uh with this truck, which kinda is the case with most of the US uh trucks. It is a gas guzzler. We are already down they're 29 gallons to be exact since we started so um yeah it's, it's definitely gonna be uh fuel thirsty have i have i, I must have picked up this go no tab yes a hat let's go ahead and re hook up nope a little bit of damage there to the yard, no problem. Should be fine. Yeah, this would have been this would have been a good truck to have in Michigan. I, I feel like the raised suspension should have been the uh, the hard upgrade to get. Um, I feel like it should have had all wheel drive uh, or had an upgrade that you can find in Michigan of the all-wheel drive. The other thought I had is I kind of wish the all-wheel drive and the diff lock, they weren't findable upgrades. I, I feel like they should have just been, um, if, if they weren't equipped on the truck or if they were equipped, but they were quote unquote broken. And then you had to, you had to pay, I don't know, 50,000, 100,000, 75,000, something like that. Um, amount of money to get it fixed so that it was kind of up to you if you thought uh, the truck it, it, if you thought the truck was good enough and it was worth spending the money on getting it fixed because uh, to be honest most of these trucks in real life will have all the drive uh, whether it's an option or it's standard uh, chances are they're gonna have uh, the capability already installed on the truck so it's not it's not a necessary um thing to, to go out and find it it's, it's the fact that oh it has it but it's broken so you want to pay the money to fix it so that you can use it kind of thing uh but i don't know that's just a, a different take on it right i mean all these things uh upgrades tires suspensions they all could have just been purchasable versus going out and finding them it's one of those things like I, I like the idea of having to find the upgrades versus just buying them but at the same time buying them kind of makes more sense anyways um i don't know why somehow that marker was way off we'll just do that one and that should take us to where we need to go but anyways that's my thoughts on it let me know what your thoughts are uh by putting them in the comments and while you're there if you want to Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and if you're uh, not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. That does help out the channel, and the best part about subscribing is is that it's free. You don't uh, you don't have to pay a dime to do it. So it's one of those uh, rare occasions in life. So you might as well take advantage of it. Uh, I do not remember this trail at all, <laughs> um, but I know we're going the right way. So. And this thing just howls through the mud, even for having chain tires on. It is it is pretty good. This is a pretty solid truck. Um, maybe it's worth not having the raised suspension on it and lowering its center of gravity. Uh, you would put slightly smaller tires on it. Did I drag this out here? I feel like I dragged I dragged this tanker out. The crappy thing is I don't remember and it is already half empty so I'm pretty sure I did drag it. Like, oops. yeah, like 
<laughs> it's already almost empty. I hope it's one I dragged out here because if it isn't, uh, we may have a problem doing pass. I may have to go get it filled up first. Uh, let's go ahead and stop this truck here and we'll change to the ER and we will go pick up. I guess, I guess the ER was uh, a little too close there. Uh, but we will go pick up this trailer and get it dropped off. And hopefully get a task done before the, uh, before the halfway point of this episode. Should give us enough time to do hopefully at least one more or at least get it started who knows uh that does look like it's all just yeah that looks like lumber i wonder if i have to do if i have to do the upgrade if i have to change the the bed of the twin steer or if i just have to uh go to the lumber spot and just pick up my long log. I, I, I'm guessing I have to go change the, the bed of the truck. I don't think I went into those um, accessories at all the last episode. So yeah, that's, that's kind of, you know, bad on my part. Alright, so we've already activated that class there, so we should be good. I think this is just a matter of crawling up the snowbank and uh, what is the right route? Okay, so I know this side is steep, but we do have chains on, so I think I'm going to go that route versus going the long route. And if I'm wrong, then we're going to be coming back. Kind of makes more sense to go the long route, doesn't it? Oh, now I'm thinking about it. Because then you could just come down the short route. Uh, I'm not actually going to. <laughs> I'm still a little nervous about this thing tipping over. Yeah, you know what? We'll 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 figure it out. I think we'll be able to easily walk up that hill. Like it, I mean, it's it's pretty steep. Don't get me wrong. There are trees, so maybe maybe the trees are something we can winch onto. And uh, yeah, million dollar question is: Do we go low gear and just crank it up the hill, or do we try to go with speed and fly up? I mean, the trees aren't going to hold very much weight, so. Alright, we're at least up on the ice. Um. Let's see if we can't creep our way up the hill. Oh, we almost. Let's try. Let's go. Let's go. Low gear, there we go. That's the way to do it. And not gonna lie. Watch, I'm not gonna be able to hook this trailer up for this truck. Ooh, wow, that was a bad. That was bad backing up. Alright, that should be close enough. Perfect. Let's go ahead and just turn this thing around and we're gonna go down the quick way. No need for subtleties. Um, although, yeah, they, they could have faced the trailer the other way. But we'll get it. Yeah, that is, that is steep. <laughs> Let's just power through the brakes and slide down slowly. Then Try to bomb through the mud. Ah, that didn't really work too well, but we'll get through it. We'll get a little help from some trees. Oh, doesn't. Doesn't want to actually 
นะโอ้โอ้ยกาแฟทันชI'm actually surprised it's struggling this much. Come on, there you go. Ah, oh, perfect timing too. We can we can pull up here. We can spend the night. We can start off fresh in the morning. All right. Well, that was a quick, easy uh, nineteen hundred dollars to go with our one point. Well, now that we've bought a truck, it's only just over a million. <laughs> uh, I never would have guessed that I would have this much money. All right, so what do we got here? We do have a scout trailer here. I don't think we have any. We don't have anything for uh, trailer stores, do we? There's another scout fuel trailer. There's road that kind of disappears over here but we, uh, we'll get to that sooner or later I suppose what we'll do where do we have to pick up said trailer way over there oh why am I not surprised I was hoping it was something on this side uh yeah what to do, what to do, what to do. I guess what we'll do, obviously skip the morning. Uh, so we'll head back up the hill. We'll grab the... Grab everything that we can, I guess. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll grab one of the fuel scout trailers. We'll fill up, we'll fill it up. Um, we'll fill up this larger trailer with all the fuel that's in that one and then we'll We'll kind of combine them and pull back an empty fuel scout trailer so that we uh, can get rid of that off the map. Try to clean up all the trailers. Well, I say that, but I'd, I'd like to go around getting all the trailers, but at this point, it's just not worth the money that I get for them. Um, yeah, Twin Steer, you're kind of big. And in the way. Nope. Attach it to the truck. I love how it always wants to put it out like 90 degrees. The most useless connection. What is this task? I, ooh, I have not accepted this yet, so maybe this is a maybe this is more apt to a task that we can do now. Um, go task, start tracking. Oh, wow, yeah, no. <laughs> measure zone seven, seven zones to, to measure. Um, do we just have to visit them, or do we have to measure something? Um, it said taking photos. Did it not? Yeah, I came all the way here from Moscow. 
They say there's an island full of old architecture. Can't reach it though, but I'd like, but I'd really like to take some photos. Here, here to take some using my camera. I can't read out loud. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, that was a bad, bad the trailer there. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so this fuel, little fuel scout trailer thing. Uh, where are these? Oh yeah, that's the island they want me to go do. Okay. Measurement zone. I wonder why they call it a measurement zone. He just wants us to take photos, so which is pretty much usually just go there, drop off the stuff, and then go. Um, you know what? This is gonna make more sense to move the, the big giant truck out of the way. Uh, change trucks. Back it up. Actually. Oops. Try to turn it around. <laughs> this isn't going to be the easiest thing to do. Hopefully, we don't roll down the hill. About as far as we can go that way. About as far as we can go that way. <laughs> there we go. We'll just yeah, we'll get it turned down the hill. So stop the engine. Oh, perfect. I love when it doesn't show up, but then it still looks up. All right, let's uh, refuel. <clears throat> let's put all the gas in there. So now we're 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 about a half a tank now. That's uh that's definitely reasonable. And I think there's another. Wasn't there another scout fuel trailer around here? Maybe I was wrong. I could have sworn there was another one. I thought there was two. Alright, I thought wrong. Go figure. Alright, we'll leave that... Uh, that trailer there. Um, which way am I facing that? Oh, why would I face the truck that way? I feel like didn't leave the truck facing that way, but I mean, I guess it kind of did. All right, let's go. Time to head back. So really, the only thing we did was obviously the one mission, and then we're bringing back an empty, an empty fuel trailer, which is kind of perfect if you think about it, because well, that's all we need. Crap, there was a tree there. I totally just pulled over that one tree. Hey, you know what? Climbing. I forget how easy this thing goes through some stuff. And this is where I think, okay, let's throw the diff on. Then it kind of just ends up being faster not using it. Just, uh, it get some traction. Maybe it is, maybe it is better to have, yeah, I think we are struggling just enough to where we need that. We'll, uh, we'll use the tree to help us turn. Nothing wrong with that. I don't know how we got through here the first time without uh, hitting a thing. Because now we're, uh, 
the yard got stuck. To the point where it makes more sense for the yard to go this way around the tree instead of going the way it came. Come on. Take something far away. That should be good. Go ahead and winch. Alright, we'll slowly work up the hill. Now we've got some speed, a little bit of speed, not much. Amazingly though, like the, this truck hasn't really grounded out. I figured with the way the wheels are spaced that it would constantly just be grounding out on the, the bottom of the chassis there, but somehow it doesn't, which is pretty shocking. I mean, obviously I couldn't climb up that rock face over there, but I mean, that's more... I don't even know what that is. That must be some type of... Did we already have to do this mission? I think we did the mission that goes up here, didn't we? And then there's a long road that comes over here. Yeah. I feel like we did that mission. Maybe we haven't. Oh, well, we must have because uh, the map's not really... Yeah, the map would be... Yeah, we haven't gone up there yet. The uh, the map hasn't been exposed the way it would be we did, so... Anyways. Maybe I thought about going up there. I probably did think about going up there. And I just figured, well, I'll wait until I have a mission that makes me go up there. Should damage. Yep, figured it would. I don't know why. Anyway, must have just hit the correct, uh, correct hit box. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're just we're hauling this back so we can get the trailer back, so it can take all the damage in the world. Really wouldn't matter too much. All right, here's the mud pit that kind of slowed us down. I'm gonna try to stay. Probably should have stayed to the right, but we'll go to the left. Why not? Better than I think it should be better. Definitely don't seem to be sinking as far. Or at least not yet. I'm sure it will happen. Well, you know what? Let's just slowly go through it. As long as we keep moving forward, right? We'll just slowly keep creeping along. This thing sucks you guys. 
This absolutely sucks. Yeah. Come on. Gotta get a little bit. We're not quite stuck, but we are. We're definitely, um. Oh, well, we're definitely stuck now. Oh, yeah, a little bit. That helped out quite a bit, actually. Like we, uh, like we didn't even bother. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did bother. All right, and this this fun little path. This is the nice part about the truck being so long. Normally, you would get stuck down there, trying to bog through it. But because the truck's so long, your front tires already through it by the time the back tires enter it, and so you just kind of coast right through it like it's nothing. Fuel? Fuel I don't think we're going to bother with. How much fuel is in this tank? Well, at least tell me, yeah, so it's pretty full, so we'll leave it there. Uh, I think we go this way. Yes. We definitely go this way. Alright. I love getting text messages when <laughs> I'm, I'm in the middle of doing this and then all of a sudden I just stop talking and have to read the text even though none of it's really overly important. <laughs> I probably should put my phone on the other side of the room. That would make things be a little bit more uh, fluent, but it's... Everyone knows I'm a real person, so I have to deal with real life, right? I think that's, uh, I think that's what's important. Alright. Still not 100% sure. I guess we'll just go straight through it. As long as, as, long as we get this side. I mean, at this point, we're, we're pretty much almost there, so. If we have to, we can always fall in back up. Run over that tree. Fine. Nobody really cared about that thing. So, I think we're just almost there. You know, I'm tempted for this, uh, this everything for Pictogram quest. I think what I might do is I might break out the, um, the tartan and, uh, use that to do the exploring. We don't have to go, we don't have to pull anything, we don't have to, we just have to visit the spots. I have a feeling that would be a pretty good truck to Although this truck may may have the possibility of being really good at doing this too, so now there isn't. This is the this is the bad part about this. this. Is that a trailer store? You know what? Let's let's hold off. I don't think that's. Oh, that is a trailer store, isn't it? No, it isn't. Well, you know what? Let's change trucks. Let's see if it is. Normally, the garages have trailer stores in them. But the trailer store is just up the road, so I don't know what. Oh, that's what it is. It's a task. Are we oh, we haven't even accepted this task. It's so sad. All right. Well, now that we have it, um, delivered to repair shop. Well, that's the yard that's up here that I saw. Yeah, I should have should have went and grabbed it. Dang it. 
Um, oh well, that's fine. Where's the repair shop? Oh, right, right there. All right, well, you know what? Let's, uh, oh wow, I did not realize how bad this truck was damaged. Let's actually go visit the repair shop. Maybe it will repair us. That would be kind of cool. Nope, it did not repair us. Oh well. Um, well, in that case, let's detach this trailer. No, not delete it. Uh, detach. We'll recover this vehicle. Then leave the garage so that we're fully repaired now. And refueled. And I do have... Ooh, you know what? Let's try something else. Uh, so we do have two trailers here. Oh, wow, that almost that almost flipped us. That almost totally ruined us. <laughs> All right, let's uh. Let's drop this trailer off here. Um, why do I have this hard find? About detaching. I don't know why I keep thinking that detach the trailer means delete the trailer. Uh, but we're gonna do. We're gonna try to kill two birds with one stone, um, or at least two trailers with one tow. Well, oh, this vehicle is so hard to get. To do anything. Like, it takes a good while for it to shift back and forth between. Drive in reverse. All right, let's throw that down there. Let's change trucks. Let's fire this bad boy up. Activate the uh, the anchors. Well, apparently, I didn't start it. Go into crane mode. Is it possible? Can you pick up? We're just going to pick this up and throw it on top and see. Um, and I, I do out. Do out. There you go. That's a roll over. I'm starting to drag it. Let's just delete it. Or, uh, Sure. <laughs> that, that might work. Uh, let's change trucks. Can we pack it? Doesn't look like we can pack it. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do it the old fashioned way, it's fine. We're gonna attach the winch to the trailer, that, and we're off. We're still gonna get both of them there. I would like to do it a little bit nicer. Um, just because, yeah, you can kind of see how this is fighting me. It's fighting me a lot. Alright, you know what? We're going to turn around and then <laughs> re-hook up to the trailer. will let me. Unless I hooked up to the wrong trailer. Nope. Come on. There you go. Okay, let's pull that in. Pay attention to where we're going to, because that's quite important. Even the turning radius on this truck is, is a little bit weak. <clears throat> we're off. We're, we're doing 
two trailers with one boat. Let's try to shoot from the left side. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Oh yeah, all wheel drive, that would help. Probably should have done that before we got into the mud. Yeah, let's try to go up and around. We're gonna try to avoid every little obstacle that we can. This is actually pretty tough to get through here. I would like to take the twin steer through here. Just to see how it does on some of the uh, terrain that is thrown at you through here. Oh, maybe I should have went for the mud. Jeez. Oh, just outside the winch. Right. Oh, that works. Yeah, that uh, that mud's definitely easier to to go through than that snow is. Once over these things, an issue. Go straight up. Trailer, trailer's getting a little hung up. From what I remember, if we go this way, it's a lot easier than trying to. Because you can't go through that tree. It's horrible because I really want a chainsaw. This this ground here is pretty well packed. In fact, I would be, I probably would be flying through here if it wasn't for that third trailer, or second trailer. Okay, and then we can go this way. Ooh, maybe I should have went in the way. Stop going to the right of me. I want in front. In front is more important. Ooh, crap. Am I too far away? Nope. It's close. Uh, the tree. That trailer's gonna hit the tree, isn't it? Slow and steady, right? We only have one more obstacle. Actually, we could we could grab that may be our savior. Uh, we've got the dairy over there. I think it's the dairy. Come on. So slow, so slow, let's go. This looks like it should be pretty hard packed snow. It's that dirty gray snow that you get in winter. That's usually pretty hard. Um, I'm guessing the trailer may be holding us up. Yep, it is the trailer. Crap. Can't even tell which one's the trailer. I think that one is. Oh, that was a tree. I guess I guess that's one way to do it. You know, <laughs> we'll just mow down the trees until we find the trailer. That's definitely a tree. And look at that. Now there's no trees to hang up on the trailer. So there's a there's a good tip for you. 
if you guys were looking for a way to get rid of the trees, that's how you can do it. Alright, anyway. Definitely not going that way anytime soon. Uh, but this way, this is the surprising bit. I had such a hard time in the last episode getting my truck through here. It was... it was painful. In fact, it was so painful, I'm not even sure if it was the last episode or the episode before that. It felt like it just took an absolutely long time and I'm like, I'm pretty sure all my other vehicles easily get through here with a little bit of winching and trial and error. Let's get the trailer so that we don't uh, leave that behind. Oh no, don't tell me it's... It is stuck in the rocks a little bit. Should pop its belt through sooner or later. Come on. I see you're working your way. There you go. Keep coming. Up and over. You have wheels for a reason. There you go. In that case. Grab that one. Get ourselves almost all the way up there and then grab the trailer again. Long ways to get winched in. Long ways. Okay, perfect. Goes up and over that rock. And I'll we'll just keep winching it in until we get to our uh, final destination. In fact, there's another trailer there. I can get three trailers with one tow. That's not true. I can't. We can, uh, we can at least trade in three trailers, though. Uh, let's go ahead and drop that one off. We'll get this trailer taken care of. Now, that one has gas in it, though. Uh, you know what? Let's return it anyways. It's fine. We're right here. If we need a big tanker, we can get a big tanker. It's not that big of a deal. There's $3,400 there. Back this thing up. Oop. That didn't work out. Nope. You kind of don't want to be upside down. Okay, let's. That almost looked like it was going to allow me to attach it. But I'm pretty sure it has to be attached. Let's double check. Unless they came out with some update. Oh, yep, definitely it's gotta be attached though. So. At least winch. Back up. Attach the trailer. Pull forward. Oh, we're in there. Uh, another thirty-eight hundred dollars. Yeah, we're, we're rolling in the dough now. We're, we're going to be over $12,000 in trailers just in this one return. Or these three returns, I should say. Close enough. Winch it in. Drive forward as we winch forward. And yeah, by the time we get there, hopefully we'll be close enough to attack. We are tearing up the mud though, so it is going to get harder. We're so close. This one's going to happen first. I think we're going to get to the box first. Yep. Ah, that's okay. Look how slow the winches. It's so slow. 
winch, you're so slow. Can I attach here? All right, there we go. And uh, did I get money for that one? Yeah, I must have got money. That's so weird. I thought my money would pop up. Anyways, uh, on that note, uh, we are at the end of this episode. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up and uh, leave some comments and let me know how I'm doing. Or uh, if you want to talk about your experiences with SnowRunner or your thoughts or your ideas of how the game could be better or worse. Or, you know, if you want to talk about how your uh, Saturday went. I don't care. I will definitely respond. So uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.